Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a video that's probably not something you expect from me these days. It is about Nikon. In fact, I am recording you guys on a Nikon Z6 for all you Canadians out there with the 24-70 to f4 kit lens. And I wanted to show you guys something, especially the people that have been following me for some Fuji stuff that might be interesting to you if you're considering going the Nikon route. Um, you know, from the full frame aspect or whatever. And the Z6 has become a, quite a great camera since the firmware updates. I think they're on the firmware update 3.1 right now. Um, and it's a much, much better camera than it was when it first was launched. In fact, it's, it's a fantastic camera now. Nonetheless, Fuji. Um, <clears throat> I love Fuji, I shoot a lot of Fuji because I love their film simulations. They're straight out of camera JPEGs. I don't like to process an image um, unless it's for something very specific. More importantly, I just like to shoot photos of my kids and, and get a, an image out of the camera that I like a lot. I like the fact that I can simulate Ilford HP5 or T-Max or Tri-X for black and white. I like the fact that I can take classic chrome and push the white balance and make it into more of like a Portra or uh, a Kodachrome 64 or whatever it might be. And so when I had the Nikon Z6 or have the Nikon Z6, I came across something that maybe some of you Nikon people already know about, but if you don't, it might be very interesting to you. Something that, in a way, simulates what Fuji does, but for Nikon. And that is being able to put in-camera profiles that simulate film simulations, in a way, on Nikon cameras. I found this out by just searching around. You guys can do the same. I think the article's in SLR Lounge. I'll put a link right here uh, so you guys can click on it and, and also in the description below. And that took me to Nik Nikon Picture Control. Now again, if you guys already know about this and you're Nikon experts, I'm not, but I just figured this out and I thought it was really, really cool. It'd be great for people that are interested. In this Nikon Picture Control app, there's a bunch of different film simulations. Like I mentioned, T-Max, Tri-X, Portra, Portra 160, um, all, all sorts of different, Agfa, whatever, all sorts of different stuff. And what I wanna show you guys is first of all that you can do this, but the way to do it's pretty simple. All you do is you take the SD card out, in the case of Z6, an XQD card out, and you, you put it in a uh, XQD, let me see, I got one here, boom, this guy right here, uh, an XQD card reader. You take these files, or you just click download, take these files, you put them on the card in a folder. Again, I'll, I'll give you guys the instructions over the screen here as I'm talking. And then you just put the uh, XQD card back into your camera and you load them. So I'm gonna stop recording on this camera and go over to my iPhone real quick and just show you guys real quick on the back of the screen what that looks like, um, how do you load these, and, and then show you guys a few uh, sample images uh, from, from doing this. I think it's a fantastic way. If you're kind of jealous of the uh, straight out of camera Fujifilm simulation type approach to photography, maybe not the same um, simulation, but type of approach, it's a great way to do this in a Nikon Z6. So I just want to share that with you guys today. Um, let me flip over here real quick to my iPhone and then I'll show you some sample images afterwards. All right, here we are looking at the back of my Nikon Z6. Hit the menu icon and you go over to camera and you go to, where is it at? Right here, manage picture control. You guys can see that. Inside here, when you have the SD or XQD card inside the camera, you go to load and save, you hit copy to camera, and then here's are the three that I loaded on my camera. You got T-Max, Kodachrome uh, 2, and then Fuji Superior. And you just hit these, hit confirm, and then when you do that, it saves them. So then you go into picture control when you're ready to shoot photos. You have all your standard ones, like standard, neutral, vivid, monochrome portrait, blah, blah, blah. And you go down to the bottom here, and you get through all these special ones, boom, there they are. T-Max, Kodak Kodachrome, and Fuji Superior. And uh, yeah, you click this bad boy, get out of the menu, and now you've got, sorry about that, you've got a T-Max simulation. So let me shoot a few photos for you guys and I'll show you in a second. Oh. 